think it's pretty much go time. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna add the ch um, the playlist one more time. Just so you know, I'm really, I'm digging it. It's, um, as somebody who loves house music, I actually don't know a lot about any artists in general, never mind black artists. So I've been trying to research black artists. So this is all black house artists, which is just very like, very enliven enlivening, enlivening music. Um, so I'm just starting it from the top and not hitting shuffle, if that helps you at all. Um, all right, so like, listen to that. So good, <laughs> so, so good. Okay, ignore me. We're gonna start with just classic knee pulls. Let's see, pop that down. Okay, classic knee pulls. So just pulling your knee up to your chest, alternating side to side. Remember, we don't wanna keep the chest rounded down. We wanna try to stay as upright as we can. Two more. Excellent, okay, now pull the heel towards your butt. Making sure that you squeeze the glute of which side you're pulling. That'll help kind of anchor the hips down a little bit. Flex the toes as well. You got it, you got any <laughs> Side to side, two more times. We're gonna go into runner's lunge next. So for runner's lunge, we're gonna set up this way, just so you can see. So once you're in your big long lunge, hands go on the inside of the leg. You're gonna to try to drive that knee way out to the side. We're gonna do six peels. So you peel the hand up towards the ceiling and then try to bring the elbow towards the floor for two. Big reach, turn it back down for three. Four. Five. And six. Hands to the floor, step back to a plank position. We're gonna go into shoulder taps. So we're just gonna do 12 right here for three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. Very good. Step the other foot up on the outside of the hands. Let the knee go way out to the side. Peel the arm up. Elbow to the floor for one. For two, breathing. For three. Four. Last two. One more. Perfect. Let's stand it all the way back up. We're going to cycle through that one more time and then we'll throw our band on. It's really important that we go through a thorough warm up because we are going to be getting right into pretty intense stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Keep the chest upright. Two more. Pulling that knee up towards your chest. Good. Heel to the butt. Grab the top of the foot. Pull your heel as close to your butt as you can. Just so you know, mine never touches. There's probably too much leg involved, too much leg to get in the way. But your goal is to pull it in nice and close. Perfect, we'll go for two more right here. Lengthening out your quad. We will be getting into a good amount of leg stuff. Okay, low lunge, hands on the inside, turning it into a runner's lunge. Reach on up for one. Elbow towards the floor. Two. Big reach. Three. Reaching on up, elbow to floor. Good, here's five, one more. Elbow down, hands to the floor. Plank position, shoulder taps. Core stays nice and tight for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull the lower core up and in, 10, 11, and 12. Other foot steps on up, settle in briefly, reach on up. Elbow to the floor for one. Drive the knee out, opening up the hip and the inner thigh. Reaching up for three, for four, five, and six. Beautiful. Okay. So now at this point, we'll go ahead and step into our mini band just to, just to fire up the glutes a little bit. So if you don't have a minivan, you can use a hip sling, or sorry, if you don't have a hip sling, you can use a minivan. Preferably you're in a hip sling. If anyone ever needs recommendations of where to get these kinds of things, just reach out. We're gonna go side to side, we're here for about a minute. 
So that being said, this is kind of our extent of our glute activation. So don't shy away, right? Really kind of step. Remember, we want to be in a hip hinge position. We don't want to be vertical. We also don't want to be loaded into our knees. So we want to make sure our knees are kind of right above our ankles. Excellent. Side to side. Pick up that pace a little bit. Very good. Kind of drop into a squat as you move side to side. Beautiful. Let's stay here for 20 more seconds. We're running off an imaginary clock, by the way. <laughs> side to side. Come on. Big steps. Last 10. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Okay. Cool. We are going into, where is it? 45 seconds of work. You are going to get 10 seconds to transition. And we are working for four complete rounds. Okay. There's four movements, just so you know. So it's, that helps you at all. Um, so I'll show you the movements. So the first one, we have a reverse lunge to a curl and press. So pretend I'm holding weights. We curl, press, bring the weights down. Curl, press, bring them down. Curl and press, okay? Of course, if you don't have weights, just go through that exact movement pattern that I just showed you, okay? Then we're gonna do a side to side jog. So my feet aren't even leaving the floor. I kinda just, this is just a little shimmy, okay? So we have 45 seconds there. We're then going into a squat with a front raise. So holding one weight, most likely, holding it like so. You are going to squat here. Raise up to the front as you get into the depth of your squat, okay? We're then gonna go into imaginary jump rope. You can shuffle your feet or you can choose to keep them together. Again, we're trying to keep this low impact. That's the way the class is designed, so feet can barely, if at all, leave the floor, okay? All right, get your weights. Y'all ready? Taking off in three, in two. Here we go, curl as you step back in your reverse lunge. Overhead press, bring the weights back down. Strong curl and press. There is a little bit of a swing that ends up kind of happening with the weights, but we want to keep it as minimal as possible. External rotation, core stays super engaged and tight. Make sure you're breathing. We only have 15 seconds left. You do get a 10 second transition period each time. If you don't want that transition period, you can easily choose to work on through. Three, two, and one. So again, you can choose to work on through. No judgment if you don't. We go in four, side to side, three, two. There we go, so 45 seconds right here. Now, if you don't wanna stay low impact, maybe your feet move a little bit more. Maybe you do more of a side to side hop. We have all different levels based on wherever we wanna take this. Perfect, 25 seconds remaining. Whew. Next up, squat to front raise. Again, an option, stay in this for 10 seconds or go right into your squat with front raise Whew. or take your break. Very, very good, you only have eight seconds left. Whew. Nice, we have three, two, and one. Getting ready for squat to front raise. Feet are at least hip width apart. Toes are preferably straight ahead or they could be slightly turned out. Here we go. So at the bottom of the squat, the weight comes up. It serves as a nice little counterbalance. Keep your core pulled in. Sit your hips back. Drive your knees out. Nice work. Oh man, my shoulders. <laughs> 23 seconds remaining. Beautiful work. If at some point you need to take out the front raise, you can keep it right here and curl it to the chest with each rep. We have seven. We have just four, three, two, and
and one, perfect. Maybe next time we'll switch that up a little bit. Jump rope, going in three, you can start early if you'd like to. Here we go. So please try to imagine that you are actually jumping rope, because it does do something for your shoulders. Nice and light on the feet. Very, very good. Again, taking this where you need it to go. If you need a little bit more, you can go into tuck jumps. You can go into single leg hops. That's always good. We don't ever really do that. So that can feel really challenging, right? Whoa, my ankle almost gave out, see? <laughs> Six, we have five, three, two, one. Getting ready, reverse lunge, curl and press. Second round, we take off in four. Keep the shoulders pulled back, three, two. Here we go, reverse lunge, overhead. External rotation, slight hip hinge, stand tall. Slight hip hinge, stand tall. We really wanna load that front hip. The base of that lunge, load the front hip, push tall. Excellent. Breathe. Less than 20 seconds. So strong. Come on. You have 11. Don't you give up. Come on, strong curl and press. We have just three. We have two. And one. Again, if you'd like to, you can go right into it. That little side to side. We go in two. And clock is officially on. Again, you're taking it where you want to. Just because I'm doing it this way doesn't mean you have to. Skaters are an option. Getting lower to the ground is an option. 25 seconds. Come on, keep moving. Even if you have to move a smaller degree, we want to stay moving. About 12 seconds left. Come on. Five. Push, push, push. We have two. And one. Squat. I'm going to personally change it up. I'm going to do a curl and then a front raise. So if you want to follow along. So squat with a curl, and then squat to a front raise. Why? Because it was killing my shoulders. My shoulders have gotten cooked. This way, we're working a little bit of biceps, and then the delts. Sit nice and low. Use the weight as a counterbalance. Core stays super, super tight. 20 seconds. Grip the floor with your toes. Come on. We have 12 seconds remaining. You're doing a fabulous job. Come on. We have just five. We have three, two, one. Jump rope. Starting if you'd like. Otherwise, we take off in five. Three, two, and one. I'm gonna go to about 10 hops on one leg and then switching over. That's gonna be my pattern. You don't have to, but if you wanna try something different, challenging yourself in a different way, you'll start to really notice any ankle imbalances, which is pretty, pretty important to know, especially if you're outdoorsy. If you feel like one side's weaker, I'd recommend trying to stand on that foot longer, like around your house or brush your teeth on that foot. Two and one, reverse lunge, third round. If you're not being challenged, do you have heavier weights or could you move faster? Three, two, here we go. I stepped down too fast on that second one. Make sure the weights go from overhead all the way down, and then you step back. 
External rotation. Come on. Push, push. 25 seconds. You've got it. Let's go push. Come on. Just about 15. Working the full body right here. Getting your heart rate up. Come on. Push. We have five. We have three, two, and one. All right, side to side. Going in three, two. Here we are. Light on your toes. Come on, how quick can you be? There is a difference, right, between this, even though I'm going bigger, and quick feet. Can you do it with quick feet? We don't want to just hang out. We want to move quick. So maybe smaller works better for you. Less than 20. Come on. Move, move, move. There you go, Cecily. Good. 10 seconds. Come on. There you go, Laura. Come on. Push, push, push. We have three, two, one. Squat with a front raise. Adding in that curl if you need to give your shoulders a little bit of a break. Three, two, here we go. Chest stays upright. Drive your knees up. Beautiful work. Belly stays pulled in. Supporting your low back. Hi, Pam. What are you doing? 25 seconds. Come on. Grip the floor with your toes. Active participation. Come on. Not just going through the movements. Push, push, push. Come on. We have seven. Last four. Three, two, one. Getting ready for jump rope. Whoo! I'm dripping. Going in three. Two, here we go. Wind it up. Nice work. So as we're jumping, we want to make sure our ears are right over our shoulders. Our shoulders are right over our hips. Nice work. Come on. Single leg if you want it. Both feet if you're good with that. About 20 seconds remaining. Come on. We have 14. Come on, starting over from the top. One final round. Let's go, let's go. We have five. We have three, two, and one. Nice work. Okay, reverse lunge, curl and press. Final time through in four, three, two. Here we go. Stand as tall as you can in that overhead position. You've got this. Come on. Are you being challenged? Let's go, let's go. Come on. 25 seconds. Now say you picked a weight that was too heavy and you're starting to fail on the overhead press. Take the overhead press out and still just hold the weights. 10 seconds. Come on. We have five. We have three, two, one. Oh man. So good. Side to side. Three, two, here we go. Come on, yes. There you go, Jamie. Nice work. Come on, remember we walk fast. We're trying not to hang out. This is kind of, this is me recovering, which is great. And then if I want to kind of keep my heart rate up, I'm going to try to hustle. It's all where you need to be. You take it there. Come on. 20 seconds. Push, push, push. Come on. Side to side. Working the lateral faces of your body. Come on. Push side to side. 
Go, go, go. Come on. Two and one, right? We always, we work this plane. So we really want to get that side to side. Okay. Squats. Three, two. Here we go. Breathing. Nice work. Take a peek at your knees. Are they tipping in or can you leave them grounded, anchored right over that ankle joint? Possibly even outside of that ankle joint. 20 seconds remaining. Come on. You are on fire. Come on, keep it going. Push. We have four. We have three, two, and one. Woo, jump rope. You want extra, go for it right now. Otherwise, four, three, two. Here we go. Two feet or single. Come on. This being the fourth round, I feel much more confident jumping on one foot. That first round is always like, eh. 30 seconds. Maybe 10 jumps is too much. Maybe you do three. Maybe you do one and switch. Two and switch. You figure it out. Ooh, maybe you travel. Try it. Try it. Come on. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We have four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Whew. Grab a sip of water. So good. Okay. Guess what? We go into the same format. Why? Because it works. Except for, I am acknowledging I just misspoke. We're going into a similar format. Yeah, that's right. That's good. Right? Yeah. Perfect. We are doing the same time. Okay. So, we're going to do renegade row to a single leg stand up. So what that means, means a couple different things. Okay, traditionally, renegade row, feet are wider than hip width to give you good stability. Renegade row is a dumbbell plank row. From there, you're going to step your left foot up. You're either going to take the weights with you or leave them on the floor. I'm going to show leaving them. We stand. Don't fall over. <laughs> Come back. We go back into renegade row. And then we try the other side. Now, if you want to make it a little bit harder, take the weights with you. Control. Back down. Another option. Karate kick to the top. Okay? If the weights hurt your hands, try just one weight. Pass it as you do your renegade rows so that one hand is on the floor. It's not abnormal for that to hurt, so don't shame yourself. It happens, okay? Then we're gonna go into elbow crunch, into toe touch. We will alternate sides, so this is where we get into our core. What that's gonna look like, start here. Elbow crunch, toe touch, other side. Elbow crunch, toe touch. Okay, so you have two reps per side. Then we go into one of my favorites. We're gonna rotate, dip your hip, center for a push-up, rotate, dip your hip, come back, okay? Side to side on that one. The last one, cowboy tuck-outs. So most of the time when I do tuck-outs, we're here. So today we're gonna pull in what we call, in the diving gymnastics community, a cowboy. So you're here. Elbows, or sorry, knees are up into your armpits. You kick out, arms go overhead if you want more of a challenge. Otherwise, arms stay here. You pull nice and wide. For those that have had babies. It's very much similar to a birthing position, okay? All right, you all ready? This is our last long one, just so you know. So starting with that renegade row, this sucker right here is gonna get your heart rate up, okay? All right, take it off in three, in two. Here we go. So 
We row, we row. Left foot steps up, stand. Find control, bring it back down. Row and row. Step your right foot through. Find that stability. Strong stand, control as you step it back. Alternating, left foot comes back up. Push and stand. Core must stay tight. If you're struggling with the weights, let go of the weights. You don't need them. We all have to start somewhere. Come on, we have 10 seconds remaining. Pushing tall. Finding your flow. You have three, two, and one. Nice work. So now we go into elbow crunch, toe touch. Take it off in three, two, elbow to knee, hand to toe. Other side, elbow to knee, hand to toe. Other, breathe, exhale up, inhale down. Beautiful, switching every two reps. Come on. Keep your back nice and flat to the floor. Oh yeah, this is cooking the core. 15 seconds, come on. Breathe. You've got it. Nine, seven. We have just five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. A little bit more core. Rotating hip dip into a push-up. Start in your plank. Rotate the feet. Peel the arm. Dip the hip. Push tall. Center to a push-up. Rotate feet. Lift the arm. Dip your hip. Push tall. I would advise moving nice and slow here. Also keep in mind, sometimes our back does not love a huge lateral bend. If that's the case, I only want you to dip your hip one or two inches. It does not have to touch the floor. Come on. I do want you to pair it with your breath. Inhale the hip down. Exhale, lift it back up. Inhale down for your push up. Exhale as you push. Inhale. Exhale. Three, two, and one. Final one. Cowboy tuck outs. Start in that tough position. Remember, knees are spread. Three, two, we kick and pull, kick and pull. I'm starting off pretty slow. It is, after all, 45 seconds of work. See how high up you can get your knees before your hands have to assist. Feet can stay together. You're just simply butterflying your knees. Pull your lower core in. We have less than 20 seconds. Come on. First round is almost done. We start back up with our renegade row. So let's call it a flamingo. Five. We have three, two, and one. So renegade row to flamingo. That's that standing one-legged position. Three, two. Here we go. Learn from round one. Do you leave your weights or do you take them with? Come on. It's not about your speed on this one. We're pairing all of these things back to back, keeping that heart rate elevated. Come on. You've got to alternate feet as you push to stand. No weights, 100% fine. Come on. Working your entire body on this one. Let's go. We have just five, four, three, two, one. Weights off to the side. Getting ready. Elbow crunch, toe touch. Three, two, here we go. Exhale up. Exhale up. Nice work. Smooth and strong, switching side to side. Beautiful. Can you keep your back flat to the floor the entire time? Come on. So strong, come on. 
You have less than 20 seconds. You're almost through. Come on. Beautiful work. Let's go. Come on. Reach. Feeling it. Come on. We have five. We have three. Two. And one. Rotating hips. Now if you fatigue on any of these, try to come into an isometric hold. So just a still position. Three, two, rotate, hip dip, lift, strong push up. Now, I didn't say this, I think most of you know it, but my bad, you can drop to your knees if you need to on your push up. I would much rather you go to your knees and touch your chest all the way to the floor than to only go halfway. We gotta push through our discomfort. We have to in every single freaking aspect of life. Come on. It's the only way we grow. Push, push, push. Come on. Almost there. Three, two, and one. For some reason, I keep forgetting this one. Okay, cowboy tuck outs. Now, if my pace is too slow, go ahead and move faster. Knees in. Here we go. Let's kick it out and pull. Kick and pull. Now, as you go to sit up, is your core bulging out or can you keep it pulled in? I spoke about this in class yesterday. I specifically, in myself, individually, noticed the difference right before my period. So I'm two days out and I notice that it's much harder for me to keep my TVA fully engaged. It just seems to fatigue a little faster. Only before my period. Having that knowledge can help us move mindfully. Three, two, and one. Starting over from the top. Renegade row. Taking off in three. In two. Here we go. Row. Row. Step the foot up. Stand. Whew. Nice work. Step it back. Other foot comes up. Flamingo. Control it back down. Core stays so, so active so that you're not straining your back. Come on. Less than 15 seconds. Pick up that pace if you'd like to. Come on. We have seven, we have five, four, three, two, weights off to the side. Probably the most challenging one in this series for me. Knee to elbow, then toe touch. Here we go. Now again, if you fatigue here, I want you to go ahead and try to come into an active hold. So something like dead bug. We have 30 seconds left. Come on, everyone. Don't you give up. Reach. Going to a hold, by the way, is not giving up. Core is so, so active. Come on. We have 10 seconds. Let's go. We have six. We have five, four, three, Two, one, woo! I'm gonna do a quick time check right here. Rotating plank. Oh, we're good. Okay, here we are. Rotate, dip, lift, hands to the floor, strong push up. Rotate, dip it down, strong lift. Nice work. Come on. Find your control. Beautiful effort. Now, if you needed to, you could take out the push-up and say do all of this on your forearms. You're not gonna have as great of a range of motion, but if that's where you need to be, it still works. Keep it going. Nice work. We have eight seconds remaining. Come on. Three, two, and one. Cowboy tuck-outs. 
have a feeling my dog is going to bark any second now. Hopefully not. <laughs> Kick it out. Penny Lane. Can you go upstairs? Go upstairs. <laughs> Kick. Pull the knees in. Come on. <sighs> okay, you're going to stretch right there. Almost there with less than 30 seconds. Go on. Kick. And pull. Kick. <laughs> and pull. Almost there. Come on. Final 20. <sighs> Keep at it. Come on. Come on. <sighs> less than 15. Lower core pulls in. Let's do it, you guys. Come on. 10. Kick. And pull. Knees nice and wide. Pull. We have four. <laughs> Three. Two. One. We're going for our final round. Okay, look. Come upstairs. Come here. Come here. Look. Go. Go. Ready. Here we go. Renegade rows. Out of the way. Out of the way. Row. Row. Step that foot in. Stand it on up. Beautiful effort. Come on. Find your control. Find your flow. Beautiful. Come on. 20 seconds remaining. Come on, push, push, push. You have less than 15. This is your last time. Let's crank through it. Come on. Step that foot up. Stand tall and strong. Core stays tight. Three, two, one. Woo! On our backs. Knee to elbow. Hand to toe. Three, two, here we go. Switching sides. Every two reps. Come on. I am feeling these. Let's go. Now if your quality of movement is being sacrificed because of fatigue, You've got to take the personal responsibility to begin to modify. I am just about there. <laughs> 10 seconds. Big reach. If your back is peeling off the floor all the time, that would be a sign. Three, two, and one. I gave up early. <laughs> all right. Rotating. Plank position. We rotate. Lift. Here we go. Dip. Push. Strong push up. So, so good. Come on. Working your whole core, but on the side position. Really working your obliques. Come on. Squeeze your inner thighs. Think of lifting your kneecaps. We have 18 seconds remaining. So strong. That is you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Six seconds remaining. Come on. Three, two, one. Okay, just our talk outs. Going in three, two, and one. Strong kick and pull. Kick, pull. Come on. Come on. You got this. Pull those knees all the way up and wide to your armpits. Come on. Just about 20 seconds remaining. Let's go. Come on. We have 15. 12. Come on. We have eight. Stay in it. We have five. We have four. Three, two, and rest. Nice work. What would one of these classes be if we didn't do any Tabata? So we're gonna finish with Tabata. We're gonna take a sip of water, hydrate. Okay, so let's see. Let's get in. I planned a lot of Tabata. Hmm. Let's do curtsy to overheads. I put a 
bunch of options down, but we probably have time for like one and a half. So weight is here, okay? Whoa, don't trip on your weights. <laughs> okay, don't break an ankle. Weights here, curtsy, overhead, curtsy, overhead. Mind you, this is Tabata, so we wanna move, okay? Then we're gonna go into Russian twist. Russian twist, here, here, keeping your spine as long and tall as you possibly can, okay? If you're rounding, I want you to just hold the weight right here. I do not want you to twist because that would not be good for your spine. All right. We are gonna take off in about 10 seconds. Sorry if you heard that. All right. Taking off in three, in, oh my God, in two, here we go. So curtsy, push, curtsy, push, come on. Hopefully you're still using the weight that is challenging. Push, come on, this could be it for us. Let's go, side to side, load and push, load, push. So, so strong, two and one, okay? On the floor, going in seven seconds. Adding an overhead press if you'd like to, otherwise side to side, two, here we go. So usually, I move a little slower because it's Tabata and I know I can maintain the length of my spine. I'm really cranking it. Option for you to do so as well. As long as your spine is straight. We have three, two, one, use your weight. No hands, get up. <laughs> yeah, that's your challenge. No hand, you get up. Three, two, here we go. Push, oh, such a good song. Come on, push, push. Load and push, drive. Come on, you have eight seconds. Can you move faster? Come on, three, two, one. Getting you ready. Russian twist. You want extra? Sit back and load. Three, two, here we go. Breathe. Come on. Feet can be planted. They don't have to be lifted. Up to you. Anchor your lower core. Pull your butt to the floor. Seven seconds. Come on. Go, go. Three, two. Stop. Use your weight. Get up. <laughs> Without hands. <laughs> Five. Woo. Three. Two. Here we go. Push. Push. Come on. Let's go. If you screw up, it's okay. Just get it back. Right to the chest and push. Right to the chest. Push. Cecily, do the overhead when you stand. And rest. When you stand, not at the bottom. <laughs> Five, woo, three, two, here we go. <sighs> Breathe, don't hold your breath. <sighs> come on, come on. <sighs> so strong. You have nine seconds. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> we have three, two, one, okay. Up without your hands. Okay, remember, when we stand, we go overhead. Waves at your chest at the bottom. Three, two, here we go. Push. There we go. Yes. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Beautiful, Jamie. Good. Come on. Rest. Nice work, everyone. Going in three, two, here we go. Push, push. Come on. Spine tall. Really working. Side bodies. Come on, seven seconds. You've got it. Push, push. Three, two, one. Woo. All right, based on time. We're gonna do one final core exercise. Then we are going to stretch, 
stop that soon. Okay, we're rotating. We're working for one minute, all right? Uh, I'll just use this. So what we're doing, you're on your forearms, only one minute, okay? It might be easiest if you have two dumbbells to put them on the sides of your mat, your body right in between. You're gonna be in this position, feet are split. You're going to row and reach, put it down, rotate, okay? For that row and reach, I need you to feel safe and stable in the overhead position, okay? One minute of work and then we're done, okay? We are taking off in three, two, here we go. So it's a row and reach, stacking, carefully bring the weight to the floor, rotate, pull the other one up and in, carefully place it, rotate. Now don't place it in too close, because then you'll rotate onto it. Come on, you got it. Keep your hips lifted. Core is wrapped. You're doing a great job. You're just about halfway through. Right now you hit 30 seconds. You got 30 more. Can you lift your hips one inch higher? Come on, push tall to your shoulders. You have 20 seconds. Come on, don't you give up. This is it for you, this is it for us. In Mecca. And I miss you all. You have other ways to join me. Less than 10. Beautiful work. Three, two, and one. Woo. Nice work, y'all. Let's stretch. Whatever seated position you feel comfortable in, I want you to come into it. Let's just throw this back on. We're gonna start with a very simple cross the body stretch, but start with the arms out to the sides. Really electrify your hands, reaching as far as you can, and then slightly pull back. That'll help open up your chest a little bit. Take the right arm, pull it across. Recess that shoulder, recessing the right shoulder pushing the right arm into the left as you pull with the left for 10, nine. This isn't just a pull, All right? It's a really active stretch for five, four, three, two, open back up. This time palms down, pushing the hands back again, trying to get right into here. Left arm comes across, active, recess the shoulder. If you guys don't know, I have a website still working on it. Carrie Sullivan, fitnessandwellness.com. You can go there and sign up for my newsletter. I produce a schedule. Let's go into triceps. I produce a schedule every Sunday that gets sent out in a newsletter. Um, if you can't make my live classes, you can always find them because they're recorded. I record all of them. Switch sides. Beautiful. Try to lower that heart rate. Breathe in through your nose. Big exhale through your mouth, in through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Let's just take a quick peek. Cool, we're gonna stand on up. We're going old school. It looks like I peed my pants. That's how sweaty we got today. Feet slightly turned up. Take your right hand to your right thigh. We're gonna just do a classic side bend. Why? Well, because we worked a good amount of obliques today. So we just wanna try to lengthen through that side body. Go ahead, turn towards the ceiling slightly and come back up. So first, just a classic side bend, not looking at the ceiling, lengthening first, and then really it's kind of just the armpit opens to the ceiling, just trying to get a little bit different of an angle. Reach back up. Okay, this one, I'm gonna stand sideways for you. Hands hook grip, so thumbs hook together. Reach your arms up overhead. You're going to sit your hips back and you're going to reach pretending you're laying your torso on a table, okay? Now, if you can go lower than this with a flat back, totally fine. If not, your arms are kind of like a counterbalance as you're lengthening out your hamstrings. If you feel comfortable and you can keep a straight back, you go a little bit lower. We're going to collapse to the floor in five, four, rounding down, three, two, relax, hands to the floor, wherever you need to be, lengthening your lumbar spine. This is our final stretch. Three, two, bend the knees, roll on up. Ooh, shake it up. That's it. Nice work, y'all. 
Thank you for joining. You all are amazing. Uh, if you didn't add your name to the chat, go ahead and add it right now, but I think you guys have all added it. Morgan, nice work. Michelle, amazing. Christina, great. Adrian, Sammy, can't see you three, but that's all fine. Laura, nice work. Cecily, thank you all for joining. Love you all. Uh, real quick, if you're in Boulder and you want to take part in this, we're doing book club next Wednesday. Uh, you can uh, reach out to me on Instagram if you want to join. I can send you details. I don't want to like take up too much of your time, but this is an amazing book. Um, yeah, so if you want to join, it's open. Love you all. Have a great day. Bye.